Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, coming at you with a new series. I find that people follow YouTubers solely so they can see their teams and try and use it because they think, oh, this YouTuber did well with the team, I'm going to use it and do well. But it, they don't truly understand why the team works. So I'm going to do a new series that basically goes through the different types of teams you can use, the thought process of why they work, and then some examples. So. The team I'm going to use today is the all safe swap team. I don't see this too often, but why do so? First, what is a safe swap? Basically, the safe swap is if you lose a lead, you have to switch out. You want to switch to a Pokemon that has one of sort of three things. They can either sort of flip matchups with an energy advantage, they can output a lot of damage on the switch ins. So like they switch in and then your opponent switches in and then you can deal a good amount of damage to your opponent's second Pokemon. Or, and they have sort of less hard counters. So even in the matchup, you're not going to get like completely walled against something. So there's a lot of sort of safe swaps out there. The team that I use today is Hypno, Umbreon, Pelipper. All can be sort of used as safe swaps. Um, Umbreon takes a lot of damage. Pelipper is very spammy with the Weather Balls, and Hypno is pretty tanky and can hit hard with the Shadow Ball, and you have to watch out for all the, uh, the different punches. There's also a lot of Pokemon that I don't have. We saw Lickitung a lot in the Retro Cup. There's Vigoroth, which is this amazing safe switch because you can just the counter quick moves and the body slam spam. And there is Sableye, who a lot of these Pokemon, when you switch in, the point is like you're switching in, you're getting sort of two to three sort of quick moves in before your opponent comes in. And by that time, you're so hard hitting that even in a neutral to bad matchup, you can potentially either do a lot of damage or you can flip the match. So that's a thought process behind a safe swap. So in my next or one of my future videos, I'll tell you how I, a safe swaps are basically used for, I don't, I don't know the definition, but it's cover your weaknesses so like you have uh, my video yesterday actually where you have an Obama Snow and Swampert which are kind of covering each other's weaknesses and you have a Deox as your safe switch that you'll switch into to try and flip the middle matchup. So I decided why don't I just use an all safe swap team because if you have an energy advantage and you can flip matches on the switch in and you don't have as many hard counters, potentially you could just wiggle your way out of issues here. And I did a lot. I went 17 and 8 today with this team. Again, I would have preferred like a Vigoroth, uh, yeah, Vigoroth in for the um, Hypno, but I don't have one. So this is the safe swap team that I had and it worked. And I'm going to show you some how using these three sort of. Um, I'll make this smaller and I'll put this down if I can grab it. I'll put this down at the side so you can just read. Just I'll show you kind of how the battles play out. So in this first matchup, I have an Umbreon against an Obstagoon, which is a terrible, terrible lead because the counters are effective and the Hypno is useless. So Pelipper is my only option here. So they come in with the Venusaur. So I'm thinking. Okay, the, the wing attacks are strong. I need to save Pelipper with energy for the Obstagoon. So I shield up the Vine Whip. I, I built up the Hurricane, so I'm going to bait it and just throw the Weather Ball. And at this point, I'm fine double shielding because I can just wing attack this down because the wing attacks are super effective. So I'm going to shield here and wing attack down, so I'm going to be loaded with energy. So the thought process is if the Obstagoon comes in, I now have multiple Weather Balls loaded that I can... I've already flipped this match. I want to align this Pelipper with the Obstagoon. So they come with the Marowak, and I'm thinking, well, that's good, but it's not good because I need this aligned with Obstagoon. So I'm going to come into the Umbreon here. I still have a lot of energy stored. And even in a bad match against Obstagoon, the counters are super effective. They go for the Night Slash here to try and boost their attack, but the counters are effective against Umbreon. The Cross Chops are effective, but Umbreon is so tanky and it has access to Last Resort that I can just continue to chip this and these last resorts it'll take three last resorts to take this out but i'll continue to do the chip damage here and a cross shop isn't going to take me out here so even a bad matchup here this is what the sort of 
has less hard counters, even in a bad matchup here, and they got the attack boost. Even in a bad matchup, Umbreon can still hold its own. I just got a second last resort off, which puts it almost um, out. And I'm just going to throw the foul play here that they're going to have to shield here. And they do. So now I catch them off guard and switch to the Pelper, which was already loaded, to get off the Wither Ball. And now I have a Wither Ball still stored for the um, Mirror Box. So this is over. So that's how, it, with energy advantage, and not having the hard counters, you're able to flip some matches here. So let's go into the next one. Same sort of thing. I lose the lead uh, here because it's a charm nine tails. So the charm absolutely wrecks the Umbreon. So I go into a Hypno Safe Swap and I'm hard punished by a Sableye, which is, again, so it's not great here. They throw the foul play. I'm going to shield this up because I want to try and maneuver around this and also try and get a shield here. So. I'm going to throw the Shadow Ball, hoping that, well, if either get a shield or they're going to go down and the shield. So that's okay. I know they're going to throw before I get to the Shadow Ball. So I'm just going to do some chip damage here. And that puts them now within um, like a foul play range. So they have to throw their energy pretty quick or they're going to be taken out here. So they're going to throw the energy. I think my Umbreon is useless in this match because it's just going to go down the charm at nine tails and then you're going to line it. So I'm just going to let that go waste his energy and look how much it takes out here. So I'm going to throw this to take out the um, Sableye and I'm going to immediately switch because I know the charm nine tails come in. And now we have a Politoed, which is not a great matchup, but it's not a bad matchup because I can throw the Hurricane here because I have the energy advantage and I'm very spammy. I threw the Hurricane here. They do not shield. So I'm able to now shield this up because I'm worried about a blizzard slash earthquake and counter this down so that I'm loaded with energy to come out of this matchup. So I'm going to be able to get, looks like two weather balls up here because a um, charm and a weather ball is not going to take me out. So got the first shield I throw here. This is not going to take me out. And because the weather ball will put it low enough, even though my Umbreon is still only at half health, the charms aren't going to take me out because Umbreon's are very tanky that I can now get to a last resort to take out this Ninetales. So that's two matchups where I had tough leads and a second and the second matchup with a tough lead and tough switching that with this team, because you have so many options to try and get ahead of on energy, you can come in and do that. So Vigoroth, another bad lead. I maybe lost this once. I don't want to get too cocky here, but bad lead there. I'm going to come in with the Pelipper. Uh, I think I let this go, which may have been a mistake, but I let this go. And in comes their own Pelipper. So I'm going to build up to the Hurricane. I let this go because I can survive it. I bait, so I made a mistake here because I baited. And they shielded, which is fine. But I have a second Weather Ball loaded. I should have immediately gone back to back here. And I tried to get to a Hurricane even though one more was going to take me out. So that was really dumb on my part. So I'm going to come with the Umbreon because they don't know what the last Pokemon is yet. I'm going to throw this here. And I'm just going to try and load up so that I have... I can take anything because Umbreon is very tanky, right? So I'm going to just load up here. I shield the Hurricane correctly. I'm going to load up here. So I take this Weather Ball. That's fine. I want to make sure that I'm coming out with a... Um, Foul play here for the Vigoroth. That's going to come back in because I have a bad matchup against Vigoroth. But if I throw the foul play on the Vigoroth, they're probably not going to shield. I can then go to the Hypno and try and flip the match mid-match. And I'll have some deep gems here. Unfortunately, it's a Marowak, which is not great. So do I sh I'm assuming I sh do I shield this up. I let it go which I think that may have been a mistake as well. Um, but I think I'm trying, I'm trying to throw here. Oh, yeah, I do remember this match. Probably maybe should have shielded up and try and baited there because now they're going to outspam me because Vigoroth is a great safe switch and same sort of criteria here, can flip matchup with energy advantage and sort of has your less hard counters because um, fighting is your only real counter. So I was... One foul play short of having two back-to-back -back there, which I needed to take it out. 
Um, so I think there are some that I don't lose the lead. So this matchup is not a great lead. It's actually sort of a neutral matchup. I think I do win the matchup barely. Like I'll be very much in the red here. So because I have sort of two safe swaps in the back, I don't need to switch out of this. So I'm just going to try and take switch advantage here. So it takes, I think, three frenzy plants and three foul plays to take each other out. So it's now it's just a race to see who can get to the third move faster. And I think they try to farm me down here, which is why I'm able to get to a third foul play and throw that to either force a shield or take it out. So I think they'll probably shield and farm me down. That's what I would do. And because I knew they were going to try and do that, I sniped them with my Pelipper. So now I have an energy advantage. They're already down a shield. So I'm just going to go for the new crate away because Pelipper is very spammy. So get the Hurricane off. Am I now thinking that my win condition is probably Hypno double shielded? Because even in a bad matchup, if I have a two shield advantage, I'm probably going to do pretty okay with Hypno because it, the confusion just hits so hard and you can throw like the weather balls and everything. So uh, the, um, yeah, the weather balls, yeah, the weather balls, the, the punches and the, um, so I get the weather ball off there and because it's now low enough, and this is what I'm saying, even with two shields, they have, they're just, they bait me both times, but that's okay because the confusions do so much and it's, it's not spammy, but I'm able to get to the two Thunder Punches, even though it's going to be resisted damage, the confusions and getting the weather ball off the Palipper and taking this down works. So I think I have a couple more matches just to show you, but overall, like, I really like this team just because it kind of hot. I don't want to say, it, like, I've made some good plays already, as you've seen, but it kind of hides your um, weaknesses if you're able to sort of just maneuver out of bad matchups into something that can potentially flip with an energy advantage. And that's why I like this team, right? So even if you get a bad matchup, onto the next one, get a couple, two quick moves in, you're at an energy advantage and you can flip matchups with an energy advantage potentially in all these cases. So uh, this matchup is, I lose this matchup even, I know the first one's gonna be an earthquake because there's no point of a Sunfisk baiting an Umbreon. So they're just gonna go for the earthquake. So I always shield up the first earthquake. So, I'm still probably going to lose this match. I think I just want to try and soft lose and grab one shield as well. Again, I'm not too, I'd rather get a shield and lose than win switch with this team, quite honestly, because I can maneuver, right? So second earthquake comes through. I got two. So one's not going to take it out. I think I should probably throw this up one right away, but I don't. And they get the earthquake off. So I've had this matchup twice and I learned the second time. Because I get to another earthquake, I live. But if you have that foul play, just throw it. Don't build up anymore because it's right on there. So they let it go. So I win switch, which is not great because now they can farm me down with Pelipper. So I'm going to come in with the Hypno because I got the Thunder Punch and these Confusions just chunk a Pelipper. And I forget if I shield this or not. Let's see. I do shield and I shield up a Hurricane, so that's good. So now I'm thinking... This is going to be low enough. I can just get the Thunder Punch off. They either need to burn a shield or let this go down and I see what's in the back. And they shield it. So I'm immediately going to swap because now they need a Hurricane here. And they switch into Venusaur. And again, I'm extremely spammy. So I can build up to this Hurricane and throw the bait here. They need to respect it because or else their Pelipper is going to lose if they don't shield here. And now I'm building and I realize I'm probably not going to get to the uh, Hurricane. So I just throw this here. And because they lost track of my count, I am now able to get another weather ball off to take them out. So the spamminess of Pelipper really coming into play here. And now they're done here. So that's it. So that's the team. Um, like I said, I Umbreon is a good safe switch here. You can go uh, Sableye instead of Umbreon. You can go, I go Vigoroth as a potential here. Lickitung as a potential here. So there's a lot of safe swap team like um, Pokemon that you can just maneuver in here. So that's why I like safe swaps. I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna try out a couple different teams. I'm gonna do like an ABB, multiple teams probably tomorrow, just to show you how ABB teams work. Um, and then I want to show you like the covering your weaknesses with a safe swap, 
and then a couple other like team comps because I think that you would really benefit from just understanding team comps and how they work. So that's it. If you enjoy this, uh, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one.